Not too bad. No, not at all. <laughs> you don't have to work tomorrow? No, I'm a student actually. And I'm out. Oh, good. So you're on the student schedule. Yeah. Yeah. That student rocks. schedule rocks. And it's not the high school student schedule either. It's, uh, it's the real student schedule. The deluxe <laughs> student oh. undergrad? Undergrad or grad? Yeah. Yeah. Penn State University. So there's a, there's a plug What's your major? Administration of Justice. So oh, good. Yeah. This perfect. is where I belong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was like a legal study uh, teacher and, and uh, like, you know, George yep. poli sci majors. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I imagine there's tons of people here from GW and Georgetown. Yeah, you know, yeah, is, right. This is a lawyer's dream. But this, there aren't actually that many people here. I don't know. No, think, not, you know, not yet. Ex- but, yeah. but then again, it's one in the morning. One of the, yeah, it's one <laughs> in the morning. But by like. Kind of adventure for myself. Six seven o'clock to this morning. There's, there's going to be. It's going to be mad. I mean, did you, like what they've been saying is that uh, you know around four o'clock if people start to really come in and kind of cut, they tell people to hold lock arms. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What number are you? One fourteen. Oh one fourteen. What number are you? I'm one o four officially, but we've been moved out because like there's tons of people that have like. Uh, oh, you know what? Shit, I'd better figure out. Yeah. yeah. Make sure I don't miss it. But you never ask me. Okay, there are people what? here with like garbage bags on. Ted Koppel has been here. Okay, has he been here? Yeah. Uh-huh. He's I'm 114, 12. can I just, you know. 81? Matt. We've got some guys like holding a spin. What was that? Yeah. Okay. He's been here a couple of times. 82? Kevin. Right, right, okay. <laughs> That's known as number Opening one up to, to 100, somebody said. Owen! Is he, uh, he miss the last one too? No. So, let's see here. Uh, 10. Dory, Heather, Amy, and Laura. Or you can have to go. Okay. Can you guys yell back at me? Dory, Heather, Amy. <laughs> they said here. Oh, excuse me. Hey, did you didn't pass 114, did you? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's me. Oh, okay. Okay, 114 here. Present. 115. Steven. One sixteen, right here. One seven. Fresh from the plane, Oregon is it? Yes, so I got here. Uh, when did I get here? About ten o'clock. Mm-hmm. And I stopped in Minneapolis. One thirty two. I just cashed in my frequent flyer. You know, I didn't want to watch it on the internet. I, I just wanted to be here. Are you going to be here all weekend or indefinitely I'm gonna, or what? I'm just going to be here for the for the trial <laughs> because I, you know, I just think it's important enough that people should try. Yeah, good call. Yeah. How did you, uh, you heard about it that it was going to happen or did you hear about it through like a um, uh, NGO sort of situation? No, I was just following it on the news mm-hmm. very closely. Um, Mark Getz? You're with other people too? Mark no, Getz? Right. My husband's back there. Okay. He's calling me hourly, giving me updates. Mm-hmm. He's my GPS. Got your own. Uh, so you're the Jose. roving uh, newsmobile. Jose. Yeah. Jose. I called all my family and uh, my mom in Florida. She lives in Florida. Rebecca. And what what do you do in Oregon? Um, Are you a lawyer or something? Or? I'm not in law. No, I, do. I work with computers and I'm an, also an artist. Mm-hmm. Well, sell paintings on the internet. You know, oh, great. Yeah. What's that? What's your um, your website um, URL? www.well.com user kaj. Okay. Check it out. Yeah. I do art too. And, uh, do you really? Yeah. yeah. And Adams Morgan. Um, I use video to record things, and you know that's one. Do you use flash movies to make flash movies? I'm I'm learning that. Yeah, yeah. flash is going to be really hot. Okay, yeah, I've got it. Right. <coughs> so you're going to camp out? Kind yeah, like, I am. So, well, how, like, it doesn't seem like people are getting much sleep around here, does it? Well, no, it really doesn't. <laughs> okay. Can't sleep with this kind of issue. Yeah. yeah. I really can. Well, so, I so are you from the D.C. area? No, I'm not. Yeah? From, from New York. Oh, yeah. Great. You came down here from New York for this? Yeah, I really Good did. Good for you. Yeah. 
What's uh, what in particular uh, is really important? Is the most important thing for you, and the, just the most critical issue? <coughs> the word justice in the most implemental place of justice is right here, and I just want to see if it's if it's served or not. Yeah. <laughs> if it's served, yeah. I don't want to <laughs> So you're a justice monitor? Well, I'm a common sense monitor. <laughs> I'm not really a justice monitor. Yeah. I'm not a lawyer. What, what do you do up in New York? Make your biggest statement. I'm a telemarketer. Well, not that it's going to necessarily. I'm a salesman, course, something like that. Mm -hmm. Campaign office. Do you have? Are your friends the friends um, that you know of? Are they equally as concerned about this? No, they're not. I'm about the only oh, one. Oh, oh, I thought you meant you were hmm. like rabbit, but, but you've been watching the news and stuff, and how, how, do, how have you found out mostly about it? Like I said, it's common sense <coughs> to be aware of what's going on around you, who's in charge of the laws and stuff that affect your life. I mean, it's common sense to be involved with it. I don't see how any common sense person could not. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I mean, it's a it's a Great. Thanks very much. For right. Thank you. <laughs> Are you living in D.C.? Yeah, I live down the street. Well, the Republicans have both uh, no. <laughs> I work for the State and Department. Here's how it breaks down. In the House of Representatives, they hold like strange. Could you like politics? She's been here before. How you doing? Good morning. Hey, how <laughs> Good morning. I was going to bring some coffee, but I don't have a big ass canister. <laughs> Can you bring some scotch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get in terrible trouble bringing in the street. Very like a bottle of wine or something. Have a bottle of wine at five o'clock. Yeah, they'd leave you alone. Do Days that. like today, they'd leave you alone about Don't that. Famous last words. It's just like jaywalking. It's a hundred dollar ticket now. It used to be fifty. No more. Jaywalking or for green? What, what number are you? One fourteen. Under these circumstances. I mean, my goodness. We, we try to go by the name until uh, we get to the families and then we. This is a real scary day for American politics. And I mean, scary. It's frightening. Yeah, it has to come to this. People camping out in front of the Supreme Court to, to try to see justice happen, you know, but you don't know for sure. Tell you the truth, and it was the like, country doesn't how can even I not? care. Oh, yeah, yeah really else don't. this place would be subconscious. Be bad, you know? they, they, I don't see how not one uh, yeah. one person. This shouldn't be one person who put who went to a voting booth who should not be here. I mean, not one. Every last person should be here. I do not see how you could not take yeah. off of work. Right, you know, I'm, I'm taking off work. If you say it don't matter, fine. But then don't complain. Yeah, don't complain and when you have no rights in about two years. Yeah. Why would you say or you like have no rights? Some some certain rights would be taken away and certain things would be stripped. Yeah. You know, the whole I tell you what back. needs to be stripped. Clarence Thomas needs to be stripped. Every last one of those Supreme Court justices needs to be put on a robe and stripped. From their robes, but they shouldn't have anything to do with that. They should be stripped of their power to decide this election. The people should decide the election. Got nothing to do with them. We all know how they voted. Five four. <laughs> yeah, apparently um, Senator Dale O'Connor voted against this, uh, you know, account, recount happening because she thinks that the Florida Supreme Court is is. Um, she is the say corrupt. But. I'll say this much: if there's going to be a levy, in other words, a person who you would like to, as far as Democrats are concerned, to try to go after, as far as um, the swing vote in this issue is concerned, it's only one person. I think she would have to be that person. Scalia, Clarence Thomas, and Justice Rehnquist. Their minds are pretty much set. Pretty much set. Seriously. Oh. 